The students were getting here early to be part of another sellout crowd and to watch two of the most physical teams in the conference, the Red Hot Drexel Dragons, take on Old Dominion University. Pat Kennedy joining you for a showdown between two of the tougher teams of the conference. Kent Bazemore gets his first of the afternoon. Over the right and left hand shoulder. Bazemore stops and pops again over Damian Lee. Offensive squad, but I think they've got more offensive weapons and Bruiser allowed him to do something just like that. Come yeah. off a good double down screen in powers and uh, boy, Blaine Taylor runs a heck of a practice. His kids play hard. Damian Lee, back-to-back -back threes. A good mid-range jump shot will make him that much more of an effective player. You can see he looked uncomfortable there taking that jump shot, but he can improve on that. And another three. Bang in by Damian Lee. Back to the iron into the hands of Ruffin. Damian Lee underneath and finishes with style. I'm going to accuse the victory there. They had to shoot well from the three. Right now they're not. And talk about the concern Blaine Taylor has as the lead is now down or up to 10, but cut here, including a possible free throw from Brian Key. He's on a very smart coaching move, obviously, by Blaine Taylor. You want to make sure that your lead guy does not pick up his third foul. You can hide him a little bit in that zone. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he called that one out. But the fans still love it. Go to guy, knocks down that three. What a big shot here at the end of the half. There is three to shoot. Fouch will and finally gets his first three right as the half ends. You get behind, they will be able to add to the lead and you won't be able to whittle into it. Can Damian Lee continue? He will. A loss all over him. Fouch puts it on the floor. It's taken away by Chris Cooper and here comes Bazemore. The finish from senior Kent Bazemore. That is true team leadership. Great teaching tools when the veterans really guide the young guys. And that has been the story for Ken Bazemore as well. Feeling it, electrifying this crowd in the second half. Watched by Chris Cooper, backs it out to Franz Massanet. Damian Lee, there he is again. Well, they could be watching the CA Classic because these two teams are playing their hearts out. Our stat pack giving you some leaders, including some more points you can add to that total for Kent Bazemore. It's the ball so easily for mid-range. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm one of the people that believe he may be an NBA prospect, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> Bazemore falling away, and Given says enough of this. Massadet, great pass to Fouch, and one. And Sammy Givens. Lee got a quick breather. He will be checking back into the next dead ball. Massonet, boom. Hill has been struggling with his shot, and the miseries continue for Dante Hill. Lee got it to go. So how will Drexel respond with the majority of this sellout crowd on their feet? They'll respond with Chris Fouch doing what he does so well. That's a baseball hasn't done something. He's got a career high 30. And the floater hits again. It's now 32 for Baysmore. He's got to score quickly. They can't play too long with the ball. Batten wants to take it himself and will. A chance to make it a one-point game is in there. So is Dante Hill. A chance down three. Hill penetrating. Looks for Baysmore. And he is fouled shooting three. So Kent Bazemore a chance to tie this game with .7 seconds left, but he's got to do it at the line. He's looked pure on the first two, and now the senior who adds to his career high, which has climbed to 37, with mom and dad cheering on, here comes the money shot. And that's how it ends. Kent Bazemore on senior day. Still not standing up. Missing a chance to send this game to overtime. But what a contest. What a performance by that young man. And Bruiser Flint and Drexel go to 17 straight games.